Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. Friends, this starts with an awesome shout out of a design James Tampa came up with. It was his own tiny home on an E450 frame. It's amazing. I'll make sure there's a link down below and in the card so that you can see what he made. Friends, the super cool thing about this is James has given us an empty version that we can copy and tinker. I will have this link in the description or you can find it under his Tinkercad profile, which will also be part of the video. Once you get there, hit copy and tinker and you will have your own fantastic version of this sweet ride. So James was nice enough to give us a few notes. He mentions that these are wheel wells. You need to plan around those because you will have them when you put it on a truck bed. He was nice enough to give us a stove. If you carry that in, you can set it wherever you want. I'm gonna put the work plane here and hit D to drop to make sure it's at the right height. I would use nudge to get it where I want and then put it against the wall. I would hit D to drop after putting the work plane over there. Notice I am pressing the letter W to change the work plane. He also gave us a nice commode. You can bring that in, rotate it around, put it wherever you want. If you ever accidentally move something, of course, do control Z to switch it around. It comes with toilet paper. I'm going to just mount that against this wall. Friends, this work plane and then drop is a fantastic trick. Gets it where you want and then you can just use the arrows to move it into location. He gave us an electrical plug so you can put those wherever you would need them. I'm going to do control D because I want more than one of these. And I'm going to put the work plane here, hit D, and then once again, use the arrow keys to place it. So friends, this is where you get to have a ton of fun trying to make this the most incredible tiny home, mobile home, or, or whatever you want. Right now, just for giggles, I'm going to add a super simple TV because I want one. I'm going to put it on this back wall. I'm going to change it so it stretches with the black handles and takes up a big chunk of it. If I want to move the building for a moment, I can just click on the frame and I can hit hide and it's out of my way. And then I can make my TV look like a sweet flat screen. Get my black bevel around it. I'm going to do control D. I'm going to take the new piece out a little bit and make it shorter. I'm just using the black handles to zip it in and in. And then I'm going to make it a white screen or a gray screen. And if I do shift select, I can click a line and just start making all the parts that you would need to make yours unbelievably cool. If I do control up, notice it pops out a little bit. If that's too far, I can switch my nudge to something smaller. Notice it is using inches. You would probably have to do your design in inches. Bam, instant TV. I can bring everything back. And that's the technique for everything you build. Add a couch, add a fridge, come up with anything you can think of. There's no real rules except for you to have fun and make something totally awesome. You can make your component in a separate project. You can share components with each other as you try and make these awesome. You can make yours for a special need. When James created his, he is an artist, so he had all kinds of things dedicated to his artistic career. Maybe you're a gamer, maybe you're a youth, maybe you want to do medical help on the road or a mobile pet rescue or a mobile veterinarian. There's no limit to what you can create. Create. It's simply up to you to start building and seeing just how epic it can be. As you build, I would like you to make sure you use notes to explain why things are where they are and just have a ton of fun as you build your own epic tiny home or tiny mobile home. Friends, remember if you ever create something epic and want to reach out and share it with me, it is so simple. You can click this button, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If that doesn't work, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, and down at the bottom there is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your information, and reach out to me almost instantly. An extra bonus is up here. You can also find the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is also a fantastic place to share your Tinkercad ideas and designs with other people that enjoy Tinkercad. 
Finally, friends, don't forget the designer showcase. This is where you can find the Tinkercad user profiles of many amazing designers, including Arcturus1020. Check out all of his amazing designs and make sure when you find one you think is awesome, make sure you click on it and give it a reaction. Oh my gosh, as usual. Excellent work, James. Finally, friends, I'm going to show you once again. This is James' version. You really need to check out the shout-out. It'll be listed down below in the cards. It is fantastic, and I'm challenging you to try and make one even cooler. James, thanks again for your submission and letting everybody have a public link to it. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below, and if you haven't subscribed, yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me HL Mod Tech thanks for watching have a great day